Hi everyone, Justin here. Welcome back and a warm welcome to all the new subscribers. I've got a modification to improve the bathtub performance and more specifically the condensation droplets going down the inside of the fly sheet and then possibly then traveling across the top of that mesh section and into the bathtub. So I've seen something on other tents on the Z-Pax duplex, a little uh, stretching cord feature just to lift up that bathtub. And um, I'm gonna modify my tent and show you how I'm gonna do it and then seam seal it up again afterwards so that it doesn't leak. And um, hopefully that's a cheap, quick home improvement for this tent. So I better put it up. One other thing, I think this problem is the same also for the Lanshan One Pro, the single person tent. Uh, I haven't got one of those, mine's a Lanshan Two, but looking on the internet, it looks like it's the same kind of problem. I'm not sure if the geometry is exactly the same, but it looks pretty similar to me. So uh, let's put this tent up and uh, I'm getting pretty quick at this. really warm today so I've got all the doors open on the tent and this view actually shows the bathtub really well you can see the long sides they sit up quite high maybe five or six inches and um, but you can see at the ends it starts to dip down a little bit in the corner there and it's the same on the other side and that's linked to the problem that I'm uh, going to address okay so I'm inside the tent and this is the area I'm talking about here um, now the problem is uh, the Lanshan 2 Pro is a single skin tent and like all tents of that kind it suffers from condensation collecting on the inside surface of the fly sheet and um, that can often trickle down and drop into the bathtub floor and onto your stuff and uh, it's a problem um, what they've done basically is um, put a mesh bar about three inches wide all the way across the width of the tent and it's um, supposed to take these drops of water as they get down and then the drops are supposed to fall through the mesh and outside the bathtub and onto the grass um, it's basically a copy of a z-pax design and perhaps some other tent manufacturers design too but i've seen on other people's videos that what happens is the bathtub floor here you see is lower than that mesh and the mesh is sloping downwards and what happens is when it's very damp and wet water just skips and traces across there and into the bathtub floor but um what i've seen is there's a cord which uh, is flexible and stretches from here down to an anchor point in the bathtub floor. Um, here's a couple of pictures. And it's adjustable, it's stretchy, and um, you can pull it up or lower it down according to how you want to pitch the tent. So I think that's going to help in this particular case. And uh, what I'm going to do is, is stitch an anchor loop down here just at the top of the bathtub floor where there is stitching already anyway. So I'll be able to um, reinforce that so that it doesn't damage it. And I'll also go through this reinforced anchor point in the wall here and I'll put another loop there and then I'll connect them with some bungee cord or some kind of stretchy cord and uh, make it adjustable by locking it with a tie lock or some kind of plastic lock. So I've collected together the materials I'm going to do it with. I'm using an old sports shoelace, which is thin, easy to stitch and strong and colours match the tent, that's a coincidence. Um, I used a lighter just to burn the edges to stop it fraying at either end. And I've pre-stitched it into these loops, um, which will make the job easier in the tent. And then I've got two of these little uh, spring clamps, which are uh, spare. So. 
that's uh, the prep work and I've mocked up a little sample here and there's a loop on the bottom if I'm going to stitch that to the tent loop around a bit of cord elasticated cord and it's going to pull like that it's quite stretchy quite lightweight stretchy cord and uh, so far I'm pretty pleased with that okay I've done it so uh, I've done this side with just the two loops and I've completely finished the other side so I'll show you the loops first zoom in on the top loop so I'll just stitch that through the uh, reinforced anchor point in the wall and down the bottom loop down there I went through the double dover and stitched part of the bathtub where it meets the mesh so I'll just take you around to the other side of the tent okay so here it is and um, I needed two hands free to show you so that's how it was before I've just left it slack with the mesh sloping down as I said earlier and uh, I've hooked it and tied it at the bottom looped it here and this is where I've got the spring clip so you just push the spring clip tighten it up that's it and you can see that the mesh is now rising up to the bath floor, tub floor so those drops of water that um, from condensation that go down the inside of the fly sheet they should uh, now drop through the mesh or mostly drop through the mesh anyway so I'm pretty pleased with that it's worked pretty well and it's quite it's quite flexible look it's quite flexible it's not it's not a fixed piece of line so it will give and um, I'd call that a win so that's it I'm pleased with how that's all gone it works well and um, I've just seam sealed the outside stitching as well so that's done uh, weight it added just six grams total to the whole tent so nothing I've got really no idea why 3F uh, didn't include that feature in the original design of the tent. No idea. Beats me. Um, anyway, so if you've got a Lanshan 1 Pro or a Lanshan 2 Pro, I hope you got some benefit out of this video and maybe you'd like to do it as well. And until the next time, guys, thanks for watching.